Let me ask a question. Let's say I got a box from Brian Glantz coming to visit, and I had all these boards. Yeah. Where was the best place for a skateboarder to put their skateboards while they're like it's at the house? So, in the sun outside. <laughs> <laughs> in your but, trunk? No, but like, yeah, obviously we know it's like don't put them in the trunk because I did that once a long time ago and realized that was not good. Yeah. But it's like, you know, is there a certain The pl- best place is not to store them vertically like this on a tie wrap. Okay. Because they're they're just held loose, right? Mm-hmm. You know. The best, but but when you want to display them, you want to see them. Right? Yeah, that's totally. the reason you put them up. Right. These but, are uh, yeah. nobody's skating these. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. just trying to say that, I don't mean it as an insult. No, 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 you know? no, not at all. But not the all. the best place to store boards is just horizontally and just stack them on top of each other because they're like kittens. They Thank cuddle, you. right? Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you just, said that. Just horizontally. <laughs> don't don't leave the box on the end. So like in my factory, the only time I see a warp board in my factory is in the office and it's leaning up against the wall like that. Right. So even like on its side, stacked up like this, or you're no. saying on bottom the, of the board? Bottom yes. of the board. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. I think Roger, I, weren't you guys arguing about this one time? I, I was told to basically put them all vertical. No, but they're all they're all st- like. But but so, so if you think of it vertical, all one another. and the nose and the tail are here, yeah, it's unbalanced, yeah. right? You want to think of balance. I just don't stack them on top of one another because the concaves are also different. You know what I mean? Because I have yeah, so many different boards, they're so still, I just, I they're stack still them better that way. way. Really? Yeah, you know, in my opinion. Hmm. Until you can technically prove it otherwise. If you technically <laughs> prove it otherwise, I'd love to know it. Yeah. The, it's the hard reality when it comes to math and science. Like math is the way you validate science. A number is how you validate it, right? Yeah, right, right, right. But the reality is that your own perception is your real reality. And uh, yeah, until, until, until you're willing to accept something else that was proven to you, because even if it was proven to you, if you didn't accept it, it's not your reality, right? Exactly. Right. So I'm glad you said that because I, I posted this probably about, a, I don't know, two months ago. And I, this is my collection of boards. Okay. And, you know, people yeah. are like, why do you stack them like that? You're going to warp them. I'm like, this is the only way that I feel that this is not going to warp them. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Right. If they're properly set. Within, so, each, within so, themselves. So with that, just being, and that's a stack of boards, probably 60 tall, 70 tall, yeah, three stacks, like right? That. If they were in boxes of 10, mm-hmm. the box would be a microclimate, right? Right. If the 10 were put in a bag inside the box, that would be another level of microclimate. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Okay. So ideally, if you're storing boards, they either should be 10 to a box or whatever the box if, holds. If you're in that situation, yeah. Right. Okay. Or bag. Oh, okay, so just trash bag? Yeah, use a trash bag. Trash bag, bag inside a box, two temperature, what do you call them? Temperature controls? Micro. micro just a little microclimate. Climate. Microclimate. So right. bag inside a box is the ideal way to store your collection of yeah. boards. Yep. Interesting. And, okay. if, and if it's wheels, make sure it's a black bag, not a white bag. Right. Because in wheels... The, the UV Sun will damage. still come through, right? Yeah. Like, oh. Got to stop that UV, yeah. 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 right? Yeah. Okay. What? So, so, so then, face. then if you look at like this <laughs> under under a bed or somewhere where there's not a light, you know, not in front of a heater vent, you know, sure, yes. sure, not in front of sunshine. I mean, maybe just in somebody's closet because their climate in their house is probably a good climate, right? Right. Yeah, like a closet from sixty seven to a seventy vent, something. A vent in it blowing, right? So if the door right. is shut to the closet. It slid shut, and there's a vent over here blowing, and and the return air is going out the door or underneath the crack. And it's not going in the closet, so the air is is a little stagnant there compared to the rest of the room. Man, and I feel Roger's itching to true. get in that room and fix all his shelves <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come here tomorrow, and everything's gonna be different. For me though, I'm like I'm gonna have to like stack them all like by whoever pressed those boards. I mean, well, does that matter? Could, but, but yeah, well, it would be they'd be cuddle better, but you have to know what mold they're in. Right? I know. Mm. So it's a very that that goes that's, deep. that's why yeah. I stack them sideways, like vertically. And plus, Roger, but we have might, to. You can identify which ones are that type and. Put them together that way, really. But yeah. also, we 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 switch up ball, boards right. on the wall, yeah. so yeah. that's an easy yeah. way for us to yeah. look. Okay, yeah. cool. This Instead board, this board, the stacks and totally. yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. If we stored them like you did, yeah. I mean, it'd be I a mess in there every other day. I can't get to any of my boards if I really like. I got to really. No, go that, a that's the I need a whole climate controlled room. Yeah, instead of a wine room, he's going to have a board room. Yeah, cigars. Right. Yeah. So I like that. That's interesting because I think a lot of people. Like Drone said, they have that question. How do you store? There's collectors out there, right. like mm. these so, old boards. Right. So the hardest thing is if you take a board and you want to display it, right? I feel vertically 
is pretty good. Sure. You know? It's the way um, to do it. But if you have it horizontally like this, it's actually very more unbalanced than when it's like this, right? So if you're hanging it from those two holes and the tip is touching the wall, at least it doesn't have pressure from anywhere. On a board rack at a shop, it's got pressure from these two edges sitting here. Oh. And then these are sitting against the wall, right? Yeah. So the shops, I've seen shops that build racks. What's the shop? Kind of like vertical. Uh, like Austin, a... Texas. It's next to the skate park. Five point? No, no comply? Yeah, yeah, right next to the skate park. Skate park's right behind yeah. it. Literally, their board racks are, are have an oval in the wood here and here. They go, and they stand them up vertically. Okay. Mm. It's the best board rack where you can see the boards. They get more more boards in the square footage visible. Wait, 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 wait. The I'm stress, sorry. The stress is literally just on the tail and being held up here. Explain that to me one more time. It's their their board rack is rounded. What so, did you say? So, so just look on Instagram at their shop. Okay. And you'll see their boards. They their boards are like at a 45 degree angle on the wall. Yep. Okay. So if this was the wall, the board's yep. right here. Okay. They all stand vertically. There's an it, oval yep. in the in here. The bottom of the board sits it in the oval. It sits in the oval. The top of the board has an oval as well. So when you put it in, you go up like this and down. Mm. So basically so, it cradles in the nose and tail. That's it cradles awesome. the nose and tail, yeah. but it holds it in as balanced of a state as you can get. Wow. So they're both, the, both ovals are open-ended. They're not like dug right. out. It's just an oval that goes all the way through. Right, all the way through. So you exactly. go down, That's you amazing. go up and gotcha. Right. Okay. So it'd be like an eight, probably. Yeah, whatever width they have, oh, yeah. or whatever they figured out. But I love me, that. That's right. That's, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's the amazing. best way to go display boards, but also then to go pick them up. It's easy to pick them up and get to them as well. But what okay. about in somebody's house, right? That, they can't. That do... would be the best way. Funny question so, that this is. All the wall hangers coming soon. No, but the funny <laughs> question that this is, we get it a lot, yeah. is how do you guys hang your boards on the wall? <laughs> right. And then we just say with a shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Nail. that and a nail because, yeah. a shoelace. because right. we obviously have a different we situation. Switch we switch them out for yeah. right. guests and stuff. So, what would you suggest for the person at home? We need a custom build. Well, yeah, yeah. with I, the oval fucking that would be amazing, right? Well, but for the, the, the skateboardfurniture.com or something, you know, that makes all these. You things. want to team up with skate Oh, really? <laughs> I, got, see, I got enough work to do. The problem, <laughs> yeah. right? For the average person at home, yeah. Fishing line. I mean, uh, fishing line's a good mm -hmm, way. I mean, you know, hanging yeah. hanging it from the truck holes like like you have here is a yeah. good way to go. Um, but it's still not. You know, how perfect do you want to be? You know, and and how how much does it matter? The reality Exa is that's. Yeah. I, I ride a warp skateboard. You know why I warp because my skateboard's in the back of my truck right. with pallets. It's getting tossed around and whatever. I mean, a couple weeks ago, I regripped my board because I the board wasn't damaged. And and to me, at my weight and size and how I skate, the little warp doesn't bother doesn't me. Bother you. It's more like I want to spend my time skating, not putting a board together. Yeah. Yeah. Here so is I put I make boards enough. I spend time making boards. I get my joy of that. Sure, right? sure. So it's sort of like like if I'm going on a skate trip for my birthday or something, I might make stuff like a really extra special board. Paul, does it ever bum you out to see a warped like P.S. Schmidt board? Yeah, yeah, but it's it's wood. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Right. you know, it's pretty rare. You know, but I'm not saying it's impossible. And it's yeah. like, and I can't control the environment, yeah. right? Like you got to realize at least my factory shrink wrapped. Mm -hmm. That's one microclimate. In a box of 10, that's one microclimate. Yeah. Stacked on a pallet uniformly. That's as good as I can make it. Mm -hmm. And then it goes in a freight truck. And you're here. And it might be right now in the desert, it's 110 degrees. There you you know, yeah. last night in the warehouse at the coast, it was 70. Um, where it's going... I can't, oh, you can't control, control, control it beyond. It, it, I can't leave once it leaves your, your factory, yeah. you're you're right. done, right? Yeah. How, what's the ideal way to tell if a board is warped? Because the, the way that I did it growing up was I would just put it on a trash can, you know, like a square trash can yep. and see if it wiggled. Yeah, well, if you have a place where you can have all four surfaces handle balance, so a trash can is a good example of yeah. that. Like mm -hmm. as long as it's under 24 inches in diameter, and you put it across the middle, you can get that balance. You can go like, oh, does it touch? Does it move? That here? was my yeah. or Or test. you could flip it upside down this way and see, hey, does it flip anyway? My way that I do it is I just look at it like this. Right. Yeah. You look at it. Right down the bottom. Of the upside right down, down? Yeah, look right down the middle. Do you look upside down? Yeah, on the bottom. Yeah. On the bottom. And then what I do is I judge the hips. So we got this board right here. Okay. So can I just look yeah. down the middle? Okay. It's probably made by bareback. So you're judging this, this. You're looking right. This, these spots against each other. I would say it's it was, this side. This is a little higher. It was harder to judge before we had popsicles because they weren't balanced, right? Yeah, that side's a little high. Your, your eye caught it. 
Damn right. You got it. You're calibrated. You got I'm it. calibrated. Right. Now, do you think that's some mold? Um, or just this board sitting here? It's been sitting yeah. for a while. For a while. Sitting there in that situation is enough to do it yeah. for a week. Yeah. It's been hanging for, on the Oh, wall just for a week. Oh, that, yeah. could, that could change the whole really? interesting. Okay. Oh, you weren't here this week. The air conditioning wasn't on. It went hotter. Oh, dude, trust me. Then you turned the air conditioning on. This is not a microclimate in here. Right. It's it's <laughs> it's cold. It's hot. It's it's everything. Right. All climate. So but it's definitely about, a microcosm. But if you think about like a kitchen cabinet door or a door in your house, it's working good, and then it starts sticking. Right. When does it stick? Oh, in the winter. Mm. Why does it stick in the winter? Because expanded. the wood got more moisture and expanded, right? right? And then in the summer, it dried out. It's like, oh, it's working great again. Mm. My front door, I swear <laughs> to God. I. It's the same, yeah. When it's, it's the cold. The gate out here, too, used to do that. Mm -hmm. A lot oh, yeah. of in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. My back door does that. You know, yeah. When it's cold, it, yeah. Changes How do we it. rectify that? Uh, on your door? Yeah. yeah. Take a grinder and grind okay. it down. <laughs> okay. grinder. Get, get a right. carbon fiber it, door. Paint it really good because now you opened up the fibers and you got to seal them back off so the moisture doesn't get out. That's true. Yeah, That's I think my true. my door is steel too or metal. It's a you know fire door or whatever. Yeah, but it's the wood, apartment. The wood frame of the house expanded and contracted yeah, on I your metal door. I think that's what it is. Right. Exactly even my it. even the the door frame is metal. Right, right, but the but the is the wood house around it. Oh, the wood. You don't know what's behind your stucco, right? Deep shit here, Skeeter. Yeah. Well, I love it <laughs> because I think these are questions that we maybe didn't get to in your episode that are crucial, like the how to store a board, how to, you know, judge if a board's warped, you know? Yeah. Um, but and also, as I said, like from someone like me, like cruising, a warp isn't really going to matter. Right. And me, right. I just carve grind. But, but when you're set up on a mani pad to do a trick, it's a different thing, right? Because sure. mm -hmm. you're, you're more like in ballet mode. Where me skating in the pool, I'm more like power mode, right? right. I'm just like, right. all I'm doing is grinding. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, I don't think if, if I got a warped board, I don't know, though. I mean, I, to, still to this day, I may not put it on a trash can, but before I set up a board, I, I hold it and look at it mm -hmm. right. to see if I can see any nuances of like warpedness, you know? Right. So you're saying that that's the best way yeah. is just hold it up look, to your Look at eye. the hips. Your, the, look at the, the, hips. the four hips. Four hips, yep. Okay. You could also take a ruler and put it here and put it there, but the problem is, is your perspective, if you're holding two rulers like this and you're off with your ruler and then your eye can't get far enough back to see the two rulers, right? it does no good, you know? Uh, Where is that like button, right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to, yeah, it's on your it's on left. Right. No, on left. your left. Hey, yeah. hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here? Kind of. Like yeah, right there? The subscribe's like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.